17 days, four states and thousands of kilometres. A father who lost his son to a terminal illness is making the trek of a lifetime in the name of charity. Today he stopped by the Riverina as he rides his bike across the country to raise money for children's hospices. Riding through the Riverina. Just one leg of a mammoth 2,000 kilometre journey. This group of men are gruelling the heat, mental and physical pain, all for a good cause. The reason we're doing it is trying to raise awareness and fund for more children's hospices in Australia for kids with a terminal illness. In January 2018, the Fowler family tragically lost their little boy, Rio, diagnosed with a terminal illness that stopped blood from flowing to his major organs. He was born healthy, um, but then we went to hospital and uh, never, never returned, just for gastro. Unfortunately, we never went home. Involved with Bear Cottage, a hospice for children in Sydney, Ryan is now riding for Rio's legacy. From Adelaide to Hobart, back up to Melbourne and through to Sydney. The charity already raising $300,000. In Australia, there are only three children's hospices, one in New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland, all running at capacity with eight beds. Rio's Ride, which is now an annual challenge, hoping to raise funds to build more facilities. We need families like Ryan and Karen uh, pushing this message so that you know, the public, the politicians are aware. The 17-day journey ends in Sydney this Saturday. Montana Duncan, Nine News.